hello this morning um welcome to another time of um learning we're talking about catfish business as usual um some of the things that i address are things like um minimizing production cost so that you can um, maximize profit in catfish business and um, I also like to address issues like um, reasons for failure in this business uh, I think I'm gonna be talking about reason for failure in this business it might also you know um, drag us into uh, minimizing production cost because that's that's the whole idea you know when you talk about when you address reasons for failure in any business it helps you to um, checkmate losses minimize pro uh, production cost and um, increase profit you know um, let's look at number one the way the catfish business is you know faced the way you know farmers go about it is just the way um, many people go about their business in in Nigeria in this part of the globe there is too much of unseriousness I think one of the reasons why people set up <clears throat> business or businesses in this country is simply because they want to make money but there is a process in every business to make the money. They want the money, but they don't want to go through the process. Um, dedication, commitment, and passion is going to help you in business. Whenever I talk to people about the business of catfish, you know, and um, the first thing they do is to bring out their calculators to calculate the profit they are going to be making rather than bringing out a notebook to jot down you know things that they are going to be doing I know that um, there's a potential failure before me you don't begin to calculate how much you are going to make without um, getting to know what you are going to do to get the money you want so one of the basic reasons for failure in catfish business is that many people do not know exactly what to do and those who know you know or those who are doing certain things are doing the things they know or they they have managed to gather the information they managed to gather um, they are doing these things from a very wrong perspective because the information they have gathered are extremely horrible very very wrong you know in this business catfish business everybody knows what to do and yet every day farm uh, farms are closing down uh, people are running at a loss you know so you must have to get the right information um, in this business uh, number two many people do not have the strength to work <clears throat> they believe that business is all about setting up the facilities and infrastructures and then you hand it over to somebody especially those who, those who have enough money to um, you know start a business they employ every single type of person to do their work and most of the people they employ know nothing about catfish business I went to a farm one uh, once and there was this fellow one fellow who was watching over the farm <laughs> he doesn't know jack about the business a few months later i went by that farm it was closed and i knew why it closed because how can you put somebody who knows nothing about catfish business in your catfish business and then you are never there never there um who starts a business that never goes there if you start a business um, and you do not sit on your business you do not you are not there it will fail so you must be there let me tell you something that happened 
um, recently in my farm. Um, one of my tanks, you know, one of my the legs of my tanks got broken, so the tank collapsed. And I have about uh, it's it's I have about um, 500 pieces of fishes there because they were still <clears throat> about 400 400 grams, so they were quite small, uh, not too big, so they could be um, that amount in the tank, you know. And uh, <clears throat> All my fish, all the fishes that poured out from the tank, they were all rolling towards um, um, an opening where water flows through and uh, flowing out of that spot. Now, I was there. I saw all that happened and I began to pick, pick fishes. I, like, if I wasn't there, everything would have gone. 500 pieces of fishes gone can be a great loss in anybody's business so I called in my 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 staff we all picked up the fishes and the ones that escaped we went outside to get them in back so we lost no fish that day you know so these things happen if you're not if you're not on ground a lot can go wrong if you're not on ground a lot of theft can go wrong a lot of um, you know wrong um, application uh, can you know go wrong from your staff a lot of mismanagement can go wrong from your staff. You know, I come to my farm um, very, very early because I believe in the principle of the early birds catch the worm. So I like to come to my farm very early and um, I make sure that I walk and walk until I have put things in the proper perspective before I begin to think about going back. How many Nigerians want to walk? I said this sometime that the mentality of Nigerians towards work is very poor. All because we believe that, you know, you this type of belief of, you know, uh, miraculous, you know, profit, uh, super uh, superstitious profit, juju thing, juju profit. It's 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 you know this kind of things. You know they they erode our proper reasoning. And it makes us not to be able to face business. See, you see, let me tell you something. If you do not work on your business, your business will not work. There is no juju. I don't believe in juju. I don't believe in miracles. I just believe in practical hard work. You know, and it is it is paying off. I am seeing the results in my farm, and that's what I try to tell people. Remember, we are talking about reasons why we fail. You know, so, again, people do not have passion for business because. When business is slow, when business is not bringing as much as you are putting in, you know, when there are losses in business sometimes, you can't avoid it, it is your passion for the business that will keep you going. If you don't have passion for this for a catfish business or any other business, once you begin to face setbacks, challenges, you quit. You know, for the years and years that I've been doing this business, I've faced all manner of challenges, all manner of setbacks. But I refuse to quit because I have passion for farming business. Okay? So you must have passion for the business. You must be dedicated to the business. It is dedication that will enable you, you know, to discipline yourself. Rise up in the morning, stay around your farm, be attentive to what is going on. It is dedication that will make you discipline yourself to the point where you invest your money back. I've always said that, look, if you want your farm to grow, if you want your business to grow, don't eat all your profit. If you are dedicated and disciplined, when you make a um, hundred percent profit, you put eighty percent back and hold twenty percent. Twenty percent though is not enough, but you must learn how to cut down on your spending if you want your business to grow. You know, so dedication breeds discipline, and discipline helps you to keep your your business um, your business going. You know, you must also be someone who source the right information. I've said this over and over and over. So many people do not want to source information. Now, to source the right information, you pay. You pay. It takes money to get money. You have to pay. Now, most of the times when people who want to do catfish business come to me and I tell them, look, there is a certain amount you pay. Ah, no, I don't want to pay. No, 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 no. Or, um, or some of them say, okay, we'll pay. And then they say, uh, you tell them, okay, bring um, five naira. 
They say, what of, what of one naira? What of, you know, it's crazy, you know. You, you have to pay. You have to source the right information. Now, let me tell you something. If you do not pay for the right information, you will pay in losses. And what you lose will be more than what you would have paid not to lose. So you have to pay. You have to get the right information and you have to pay for it. Okay? That is how it works. Because you are dedicated to your business, you are, you are, you are disciplined, you want to pay and get the right information to um, get your business working. Catfish business is not about getting tank and putting fish inside and throwing feed, uh, feed inside the tank. You must be able to get the right things done. It is the right things. See, every business needs the right things. Once the right thing is not done, you will not succeed, you will fail. Okay, um, somebody asked me to set up his farm for him, and you know, I went by while they were trying to still fix up the farm, and I said, "Look, these are the size of pipes you will use, and all that." When I went back the next day, he has used a very small size of pipe. I said, "What is this?" And he said, "Oh, this one will work." I said, "It won't work." You asked me to help you. Now this pipe you are using, you will make you fail because it will not work. I went back the next day, he has put the same size of pipe, double, and I said, man, I'm not going to be dealing with you, I'm going to be, I'm, 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 I'm walking out of this place. This is what causes failure in business, doing what is not right, um, trying to um, cut corners, you know, and, uh, you know, not, not, not careless about silly things, you know, so you must be very, very articulate. You must be very, very serious. You must look. You must be very, very um, thorough in every business you are doing, including this catfish business. You know, and also people have a wrong impression about the return on their investment. Many people think, oh, there are they are, they are, they are in this catfish business. You have billions and billions coming out of it. So they just rush into it and then wait. I'm going to sell my fish and I'm going to get all this money and all this money coming up. And then, you know, actually when the reality hits them, you know, it's, it is farming. When you start the business, you, you, you sell off your fishes and you have little profit. They get a little bit depressed, you know, and um, frustrated. And uh, because they have put their expectations so high, they begin to spend so much of what they've, they've made. They take their profit and then they begin to eat into their capital. And without, you know, some other plans, contingency plans, on, you know, plans that will support the business. Because they feel, oh, this business is going to bring so much money and I'm going to use the money to handle so many things, you know. And then, because it doesn't bring it as you expect. When what comes in, comes in, you blow it all. And then you have no more money to invest in the business. You must know that cartridge business is profitable, it's lucrative, but it is not oil as it were yet it might be sometime but it is not oil it is not um so, uh, something that will give you the whole lot of money in the world so you learn how to you know get uh the money you have manage it so that you can reinvest into your catfish business now or in my youtube channel in this channel here um some people ask me questions some questions that they are not supposed to be asking me at all you know some people want me to give them so much details as if you know um i'm working for them i'm just doing as much as i can to help people it's very little details very little intricate details that you can you can find out yourself you go find it out yourself okay that will help you but so many other things like this i will help you and i'll get you there and then um Lastly, um, some people are ordering finger links from me now. Initially, I actually was telling them not to order finger links. Why? Reason is because some of them live very far from where I live. I live in River State, and then uh, some of them want it from the east, some of them want it from the west, and all that. You know, so I advised them. I said, "Look, it's going to be easier for you to get it from your place." But somebody, um, somebody really was determined to get from me the other day from Enugu, that's from the east. And um, he said, look, I'm going to handle it. 
you know, I'm going to take care of this whole thing. I'm going to come in a day before I pick the fishes, lodge in a hotel, and then um, come to your farm at about, you know, 5.30, get these things together and leave by 6 o'clock, you know. So I said, okay, I can help you, you know, with some uh, idea how to preserve the fishes and all that. So he did come. He did come from Enduku, you know, a day before, slept over in Boracot, and then the next morning he came to my farm at about 5.30, we put the fishes together for him, about 10,000 pieces. And he went back to Enugu. He got to Enugu about 12 o'clock, same day, and called me and said, hey, what's up? You, you had mortalities? He said, just two. Out of 10,000, he had just two mortalities. I will call that no mortalities at all. So um, you, can, you can, if those of you who want to buy fingerlings, not too far, I don't think it will be advisable to sell to, uh, to people from the West because they have a lot of, a lot of the eat there. But the East, I don't think they have much of this cartridge business there. So this guy came from Enugu to get. And also, tarpaulins, 6x4 tarpaulins and 6x8 six, six tarpaulins. Um, a woman called me the other day and she wanted three tarpaulins to be supplied to her at Abuja. I tried to discourage her. I said, buy from Abuja. She said, no, I, I, want, I think I should buy from you. And um, her tarpaulins will be ready this week and they will be uh, shipped to her um, sometime, maybe by Wednesday or so. She'll get a tarpaulin inside Abuja. So, um, for those of you who have been discouraging to get from me, um, I see now that it is possible to get this thing. So, if you want tarpaulin, 6x4, 6x8 tarpaulins, like these ones I use in my farm. You see them at the background? Yeah. So, you can get them. These ones are very mobile. They are very movable. It's not like concrete um, concrete ponds. You can move these ones to any site, new site you want, if you don't want um, to stay where you are anymore. So, so that's what it is. You know, um, I'm going to leave you with this this um this this ones uh this little i've been able to give you today until um next time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get stuff like this um when they drop some people have called me and said hey we've not seen you for a while on youtube what's going on i said i'm gonna come i'm gonna come i'm gonna talk to you like always i'll be talking to you but if you subscribe you're gonna get um messages like this immediately they come back they come they come i immediately i drop them my name is Mr. Greg. Thank you and bye for now.